Hi, Ink Teacher here with another tutorial on how to draw the human figure from imagination and memory. And in an earlier tutorial, I gave away what I consider a one of my favorite secrets on effective drawing, and that is to vary the position of the hips and chest barrel to each other. Do not have them line up, but if you tweak one or both of them, that I found can bring the figure to life, really give it a sense of 3D. And <clears throat> this is a this is for my animation. This is a, a puppet I I did for the for the animation sequence I'm working on right now and I thought this was a good example because you can still see the underdrawing in red and the ink on top and if you notice um, the figure if you notice its sense of 3D underlying it it's very subtle all I did was the hips are facing you know you can see the front side here and the chest barrel is facing in the other it's tilted the other way Simply doing that um, more than anything else has made this figure seem 3D, natural, and gave it a sense of motion. So I thought it would be a good example. And today I'd like to start talking about the chest barrel. Um, and I draw the chest barrel a lot of different ways depending on the figure I'm drawing. A lot of the times, I'll simply draw an egg shape. Now, you know, on the paper it looks like an oval, and in my mind I try to think of it in 3D, that it, that it is actually, that it, you know, I'm seeing the sides of, of an egg shape, not the line delineated, a t delineating a two-dimensional oval. So a lot of the times this is really this is this chest barrel works fine for what I'm doing but I found that it's really helpful to understand the the more the more that I have learned about the ribs and the anatomy and um and also some more detailed um um underdrawings of the chest barrel really helps out even when I'm only drawing the egg shape. So in general when I'm drawing spherical forms um, for the figure that can be helpful but when I need to emphasize direction it's always n nice to take it more into cubicle forms because those have directional lines to them. So, you know, the chest barrel here, it's like, go ahead and think of it. You can think of it as just a block first. That's, you know, one is the egg shape, and the second shape is just a block. And that's nice because you have the directional lines of, of basically, you can see the tilt, you can see it's tilted back this way. And for user-friendliness, it's really a great way to work with the figure in you know a, a you know supposed 3D space and real quick to draw too but then there's one that's a little little bit more detailed and i found it creates a much more natural figure if i really emphasize this curvature up here because what we're drawing when we're drawing the chest barrel are really different different things put together this line up here is a constant this curve up here are the muscles coming off of the neck whereas this curve down here is the back side of the rib and sometimes now in general with with all like standing figures the chest barrel is tilted back that is both male and female and so on top of that sometimes like a little bit lower than halfway down I like to go ahead and and emphasize this flat area here and that that is basically 
you know at the bottom of the ribs this is this is kind of the cutaway here because a lot of forms you know um, move out here there's there's enough of a breaking point where the ribs end that that it angles back this way and it's and it's helpful to emphasize that another thing is the um, um, the part up here, the plate where the ribs come together in front right here, this area right here is often flat and 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 moves back moves back to the um, collarbone up here. So I, it, it's helpful for me to emphasize that too. And on the side, um, I like to throw out a little bit of an edge back here. Um, and then take it in uh, towards the waist here. So these are some of, you know, you start out um, very general and then from there it's like a block of wood that you can carve. You can be like a sculptor who begins to to chip away at these generalities and, and add more detail. And this is still in the underdrawing. This is still in just working out how the figure goes in 3D space. Another thing that is really helpful to me, let's draw another one here. So here's here's the same chest barrel here. And um, so, uh, you know, kind of taking this down here, swinging that forward. You know, this is going to continue on down here. Um, I like to draw this U shape that is, that is you know, that cuts into the, bo the base of the ribs here and follows... Um, you know the shape there's like this sort of area of muscle you know there are like these different groups of muscle along the front side here that really create a lot of this shape down the front and this is helpful um, in in a lot of a lot of cases and um, again emphasize that it's almost like a windshield this upper chest area I think of it as, as like a windshield, and I'm talking male and female, um, as far as um, adding um, um, nipples or breasts, th that is, uh, th you can position those with the underdrawing of the chest barrel and, and emphasizing this sort of windshield effect up here um, is helpful for um, both uh, sexes. And, um, and also it's really helpful in placing the neck too. So um, again these are uh, the, here this is my first tutorial on the shape of the chest barrel. I'm going to end this tutorial here. I, I appreciate your time. Please um, take the time to go and uh, and see my animation at um, solomation.com. I'd greatly appreciate it. The reason that I'm, I'm doing these tutorials is so that I can get the word out about my, my creative work that I'm doing. It's a, it's a labor of love. And not only do I think that it, it has some ideas that maybe you can use for your own art, um, I'm, I'm sure that, that you can understand that as an artist, art really lives in the minds of other people and and um, and that's where the art that's where the art takes place it may it may be put into physical form but but it it doesn't really have a life until until it can it can get out there and be shared um, and I really appreciate those who have gone and see it um, seen it and um, so, yeah, I think in the next tutorial, I want to talk more about the chest barrel. barrel and in um, future tutorials, I'm going to go ahead and take you a little bit more um, detail about the different body parts. And um, um, happy drawing. H have a good day.